Yo, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Jonathan Belcher, coming to you live. Well, not really live, right? I'm about to upload this video, so I can't really say it's live, but coming to you directly with the message to share, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite topics in this video, right? We're gonna talk about the law of attraction. The law of attraction, baby, I'm feeling good. Uh, it's late right now, it's probably like about 11 something, about to be 12 o'clock. I like to, sometimes I like doing the midnight grind. You know, I don't know why, it's just at nighttime, I just get motivated a lot of times to do, to share my message, to share some type of information, some type of wisdom, some type of insight with you that you can use and apply to your life. Now, all day I was just hanging out, all day kind of. I mean, I was talking to some clients, talking to some customers, uh, you know, but other than that, for the most part, I was just hanging out, just chilling out. And that's the good thing about making money online and earning passive income is you'll have that downtime when you could just hang out and just chill out and just vibe out. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but in this video, we're going to talk about some things, right? And the main thing I want you to know is that you don't have to put off your greatness. You don't have to put off your greatness. I'm going to say it one more time. I'm going to say it one more time. I know somebody out there is going to hear, hear this. Somebody out there is going to feel this. You do not have to put off your greatness. And you say, John, what does that have to do with the law of attraction? It has a lot to do with the law of attraction. And we're about to get into it right now. First off, if you don't know what the law of attraction is, just to give you a little brief definition, the law, the law of attraction basically states that like attracts like. So... If you think about something repeatedly, or you have something that you're holding in your mind repeatedly, 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 that thought that you repeatedly put out there into the universe basically sends these invisible energetic waves out of your mind, and it pulls, basically, it, it, it helps the universe, your energetic waves, works in sync with the universe to bring what you want to fruition as a reality in your life. And that might sound a little weird, like, like this took me years to really conceptualize this and to really, really understand this and master this whole concept of the law of attraction. But it's something that I've always been fascinated with. And that's why I started off the video saying that you don't have to put off your greatness. You don't have to wait till next week to be great. You don't have to wait till next month to be great. Even if you're in your season of elevation, even if you're in a season of improvement, doesn't matter if we're talking about life or in business. It doesn't matter if you're into sports. It doesn't matter if you're into music. It doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur. It doesn't matter if you're working a nine to five job. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get the next promotion. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get that beautiful woman who you like. It doesn't matter if you're trying to get that, that guy who you've been liking for the ladies out there or whatever, right? It doesn't matter. All that matters is that if you repeatedly think about something, the law of attraction basically says that that thing that you repeatedly think about has to eventually manifest itself. So how does that have to do with don't you not putting off your greatness until tomorrow? And this is something that I struggled with for a while, like always saying, you know, like next year, next month, six months from now. No, the present moment is the most important moment. The present moment is the gift. That's the gift that you have. All you got to do is take the box. You see the bow at the top. You unwrap the gift, you open it up, and you'll see the present. What that means is that if you want your future to look better than your present moment, you have to take advantage of your present moment. And I'm excited and I'm passionate about this. I love the law of attraction uh, topic. I love discussing this whole thing because I think there is a sense of weirdness to it, right? It's kind of weird when you think about it. Like People don't understand that Like when you go out and you see and you, you maybe you go out to a party or you go around friends or maybe you went out around some people who you didn't like before. Have you ever felt some of that energy from other people without them saying a word? Have you ever been in a room and you feel some type of negative energy that makes you not want to be there? Or have you ever been in a room and felt some really positive, good energy that makes you feel like you belong and that you mesh well with the people? Well, that's why I say that that energy, right? That energy is unspoken, it's invisible, but yet you can feel it. That's kind of like how the law of attraction works because what happens is you're feeling that negative energy or positive energy, it goes both ways, right? It goes both ways, but in order to use the law of attraction in the best way for yourself, 
to use it in a powerful way that gets you to level up, that gets you to make more money, that gets you to accomplish more things, that gets you to take the right kind of action. The best way to use it is to use it in the one way of positivity, which means that you're no longer focusing on the things you do not want, but you're focusing on all the things you do want. You're focusing and you're holding in your mind the things that you do want. But you're acting right now in this present moment as if it's already here. You're feeling right now in this present moment as if you've already got all the stuff you've, you want. As if you've already accomplished the stuff you want to accomplish. You already feel that way. You, there's nothing that's supposed to come between you and that thought that right now, this present moment, I'm living my dreams. I'm doing it big. And you have to move, talk, act, think in that way. And before you know it, the lifestyle that you want, the success that you want, the money you want to be making, the relationships you want to have, the lifestyle you want to have, the situation you want to have is going to become a reality more and more for you. And this is how I know the law of attraction is crazy powerful. It's crazy powerful. I remember one time I was at this pizzeria, right? And I had just ordered some pizza. And this pizzeria is like, this is like a New York, right? Long Island. And my cousin, one of my cousins, he lives out in Queens. So it was crazy because I just happened to order the pizza and then I was sitting at the, uh, you know, the, the, the table, right? Waiting for my pizza, looking through my phone. And for some reason, I was just thinking about my cousin. He ran across my mind and everything. Uh, you know, I haven't spoken to him for a while. And I just happened to be thinking about him. Literally, literally five minutes later, that exact cousin who lives multiple towns away like there was no reason for him to be at this pizzeria like there's so many so many more pizzerias close to his house i don't know what the reason was for him exactly being there but i swear to you five minutes later after i thought about my cousin he walks right into the same exact pizzeria that i was in my jaw dropped my jaw dropped right i was shocked and when I, I couldn't believe it, he was like, yo, what's your problem? I'm like, bro, you don't understand. Like, I just was thinking about you. And you just walked in five minutes after I was thinking about you. Like, it's bugging me out right now. But all that really is, is the law of attraction. Have you ever had a situation like that in your life? Have you ever had a situation in your life where you thought about something? And the next thing you know, exactly what you were thinking about or you were speaking about something. And exactly what you were thinking about or speaking about it showed up as a reality in your life within that moment. Has that ever happened to you? That's the law of attraction. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You see, people who see situations like that happen, they say, oh, that was just a fluke. That was just luck. Oh, that was just a coincidence, right? They like to say, that was just a coinky dink. People like to call it a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. In fact, if you stop looking at the things that happen in life as a coincidence and you start to look at every moment as there being a reason for why that moment happened, that's where you're going to start to manifest the power of the law of attraction in your life because you'll get away from using it by accident and you'll start to use it on purpose with a purpose. Now think about how powerful the results in your life is going to start to be when you start to use the law of attraction on purpose with a purpose, meaning that you consciously know what you're doing to create the results that you want, to create the events that you want to create the surroundings that you want, the results that you want in your business, in your life, in your relationships, whatever. Could you imagine if I just told you, I was just thinking about my cousin five minutes later, he walked into the same exact pizzeria. Think about how powerful that is. But see, because my mind was already on the frequency of seeing him. My mind was already on the frequency. So now the universe made everything align with his day and with my day and wherever he was driving to at that time or however he got to the pizzeria, the universe made everything line up for my thought to become a reality. And that's not the only time I've done this, right? Like, I don't know how this ever happened to you. Let me know. Drop a comment below if you're getting value from this video or if you could relate to what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if this ever happened to you. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe somebody you haven't talked to for a long time, maybe you got into an argument with them, maybe you fell out with this person or something or... Things weren't necessarily going too good and, and y'all just lost touch, right? And maybe even years passed and, and one day you just find yourself really thinking about this person, thinking about this person, you're thinking about this person, this person's on your mind, right? They're on your mind, running through your mind. And then you just get a random call from that same exact person. Does that ever, did that ever happen to you? 
And you're like looking at your phone like, what the f... And you're bugging out because you're like, how? Like, what are the chances? And then you know what they're saying is, I know where I come from. This is the same. Whenever you talk about somebody, you're thinking about somebody and they call you at the same time, the first thing we say when you pick up the phone is, Dad, you know you're going to live long. You're going to live long. But no. What if that's just the universe literally trying to show you how powerful your mind and your thoughts are? That you can literally attract something in the physical realm from your mental, from your mind, from whatever you're seeing in your mind's eye. You can literally attract in the physical realm like you see me physically here, right? So when they say that, in other words, what I'm trying to say is that you can create something out of nothing. You can create something out of nothing. You have the power in you to create something out of nothing by using the law of attraction in your favor. By using it purposely and understanding its power. And don't get me wrong. Understand something, the more you practice something, the more you repeat something, the better you get at it. So, if you've been down and out, for what? Pick your head up. If you've been stressed out, I want to be here to uplift you. I want to empower you to know that you're great, to make you know that you're great right now. Stop putting off your greatness. Stop saying the next year when I'm this and that. No. It's okay that if you're a work in progress right now. But even if you're a work in progress right now, you also have to have the mindset that you are the greatest. That you can achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. That you are capable. Because you ain't attracting nothing if you don't feel like you can attain it. If there's something out there that you don't feel like you're deserving of. If there's something out there that you don't feel like you're good enough for. If there's something out there that you feel is too good for you. It will never attract to you. And even if it does get to in, into your life for whatever reason. It's only going to be a temporary thing. But get to a, a level of understanding, get to a level of thought to where you know that right now in this present moment, you have everything you need to be who you want to be. In fact, you are already who you want to be. You're already that person right now. Why you keep putting it off till next year, till two years from now? And the only reason why I could talk like this to you is because this is something I used to do. And it's one of the most foolish things to do when you really... But this is not, it's not that it's foolish. It's just that a lot of people don't know because a lot of people just think, oh, that's mysticism. Oh, that's, oh, that metaphysical stuff he's talking about. When you start talking about law of attraction. But guess what? The law of, a gravity, the law of gravity is very real. And I don't know why that works, but guess what? The law of gravity says if I try to jump outside, you know, off a building right now and try to fly, the law of gravity is not making it happen. So it make no sense for me to try to understand, oh, why, why does the law of gravity work? Oh, oh, this is what happens and then that's what's happening. Why am I doing all that? <laughs> the law of gravity is what, the, what it is. The law of gravity and it holds true all the time, everywhere. It's omnipresent. So... I'm, it would be smart for me, it would be wise for me as a human being if I want to preserve my life, right? It would be wise for me to live in, in, in the earth in a way where I respect the law of gravity. Because if I don't respect the law of gravity, something bad will happen to me, to my physical body, right? So understand that for a second. The law of attraction is very real no matter if you could see it or not. The law of gravity, I can't see gravity, but... <laughs> We know it's force. It's, we know it's a powerful force. So that's the same way of how low the law of attraction is. Right? The law of attraction is you could pull anything to you. You could pull it to you. You could pull it's like a magnet. It's like you it's like it's like you have this thought in your mind and, and that thing may feel like it's out there, but it's not out there. It's actually in here, but you have it in your mind and it's like over there and this the fact that you keep thinking about it, you keep thinking about it, it's like a magnet constantly bringing it closer and closer and closer and closer to you until it becomes a part of you, a part of your life. Literally, when you start thinking about whatever it is you want, when you start envisioning whatever it is you want, whatever you, when you start seeing the dreams you want to live with the people who you want to be experiencing your dreams with, literally what happens is the universe is literally lining up things, lining up forces, lining up events, lining up occurrences, lining up the people, lining up the tools, lining up the strategies, lining up the business opportunities, lining up everything that you don't see being worked out. The universe is working on it. The universe is working on it to bring what's been on your mind to you. The problem is you say, oh, you know, why do you get, why do people get to a point where they lack patience? And before, excuse me, 
Before I, wanna, I go into this, I want to say first and foremost that patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. We're not settling for mediocrity if we can get something great. We don't settle for mediocrity if we can get something great. We don't settle for mediocrity if we could get something great. Patience is a virtue. So the reason why people get to this point in their life where they may lack patience for the thing they truly want, and sometimes, unfortunately, they even throw in the towel, but that's not going to be you because you're subscribed to my channel, right? You've been watching my videos and you've been learning and you've been getting insight, you've been getting information, you've been getting wisdom, you've been learning more about the law of attraction and stuff. Make sure to share this video with five friends or family who you're close with who will need this video, who will find this video to be a blessing for them, their life, their situation. Please find five friends or family who would use this video. I would appreciate that. Send it to them. But yeah, patience is a virtue. So why do we get to a point where we, some people, some people, not, not you, them, right? I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them, they. Where they throw in the towel. They give up on them what they truly want. They settle for less. The reason is because the days, each day that goes by, they have wavering thoughts, wavering beliefs, wavering faith. So what I mean is that every single day when you go about your day or you're going about your dreams, you got to keep in your mind every single day what you want. You got to have the destination. You have to have the end in mind every single day. Whatever you want, whatever the life is that you want, you got to have it in your mind every day. You got to be thinking of it every day and rep repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. Because that thought is supposed to transpire into a positive feeling that takes over your body. Does that make sense? Obviously, if you attain your goals and you attain your dreams, you're going to be happy and feel so accomplished by that, that you should be feeling that now, what that would feel like. So every single day, if you wake up in the morning, every single day with that per passion and that burning desire in your heart that, wow, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. You keep telling the universe, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. Or you can say God, right? I believe in God. So I have, you know what I mean? I, I do really believe that there's a spiritual aspect to the law of attraction. But I'm just saying, like, if you keep in your mind every day, this is what I want, this is what I want. You keep seeing it. You're going to feel good. You're going to be positive. Now, the people who... Them who, who, who fail and they lack the faith and they lack the patience and they lack trusting the process. And the reason why they keep falling off their game is because they don't wake up with the repeated thought of that every day. Some days they wake up and they focus on what they don't want. Some days they wake up and they feel like, wow, I'm not good enough to achieve this. Some days they wake up and they feel like, wow, this is going to be the challenge for today. Uh, let me put my dream, let me put what I truly want on the back burner. Some days they wake up and they have a lot of faith. Some other days they wake up and they have no faith at all. You see the wavering of the emotions, right? The wavering in the thoughts, the wavering between what they do want and what they don't want causes confusion within the universe. So the universe says, what, the f what do they want? But at the end of the day, the universe just gives them what they think about the most. So if you're one of those people out there who you have these thoughts Negative thoughts that predominantly stay in your mind. Predominantly the thoughts are negative. Predominantly the thoughts are victimhood. And predominantly, let, let's say for the most part, your thoughts are something that takes you away from what you truly want. What's going to happen is the universe is just going to show you exactly what you don't want. Because that's the thought that pre that's predominantly taken over in your mind. And let me know if, if this makes sense. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know if this makes sense. If this is something you've experienced yourself too or if you've experienced this law of attraction thing. You see, before you even, let's say you're about to go on an interview, right? You got a job interview. You wake, up in that mo you wake up that morning and this is what I would advise you to do. You wake up that morning and you already put in your mind the vision of you getting a job. You put in the mi your mind the vision of you doing a phenomenal job on that interview. You put in your mind the vision of you looking great. You know, you dressing your, your, your best. You're looking formal, suit and tie, whatever. You know, looking good when you go to the interview. Your, your impression, the impression you leave with the interviewer is a great impression. And you visualize this step by step by step. You visualize yourself getting a congratulations email or getting a congratulations from the interviewer. Do that before you even get to the interview. Now, what happens is, you say, well, what's going to happen? What's going to happen is you're... It's like your mind leads you before you, in a sense. 
So because those positive thoughts you put into the universe out there before you even got to that interview, what happens is you walk into that building, you walk into that interviewer's office as if you already got the job. You're already in it. You're already, you've owned the role. You've claimed the position. You've gotten the job without somebody even saying you got the job yet. That's how the law of attraction works. So you project the positive thoughts. You project positive expectations before you get into the game, baby. And then that's how you're going to see the law of attraction start to work. And things are going to start to manifest and come into your life left and right. And so it's going to, when you practice this and you get so good at it, blessings are going to start overflowing. Blessings are just going to start coming and coming and coming and from left and right in every direction and to the point where your cup is running over with success, prosperity, wealth, health, abundance, positivity, all the great things that you always wanted. But we got to cut out the, the wavering thoughts. They got to cut out the wavering thoughts, not we. They have to cut out the wavering thoughts. They have to cut out the days of not feeling like they're good enough, the days of where there's no confidence. And that's really why I'm on the mission that I'm on. It's because I want to get rid of depression. I want to get rid of low self-esteem. Stop suicide. Help people to earn passive income, you know, because this government is becoming like a bully. You know what I mean? The IRS and all this stuff is but it's like a bully pressuring the people. Uh, so this is this is big. This is big. But in order to manifest what you want, see, they understand the law of attraction, right? But in order to manifest what you want, you got to understand the law of attraction and you got to understand it so well that you can use it. That you can use it. And you don't have to know all the ins and outs about it. Right? All you got to understand is that it's the mind over matter. As a man thinketh, so is he. Like attracts like. As a man thinketh, so is he. Like attracts like. So my frequent, if I want something that's on a frequency up here, I got to match that frequency in thought if I want to attract that thing that I want. If what I want is up here in frequency and my thoughts are down here in frequency, I can't quite get to where I want to get to. The mountain seems too big to climb. So I got to match my frequency with the frequency of that that I want. Put it on the same level so that I can now attract it. So there's no limit. There's no glass ceiling. There's nothing really stopping you. The only limitation you have is in your mind. The only limitation you have that may be in your way is in your mind. There's no limitation. There's nothing in the way. There's nothing stopping you. So if you want to blow right by and go to the next level, all you got to do is stand to the side and say to yourself, self, go your way and get out of your own way. You'll be surprised how many people will live in day-to-day -day life and they're in their own way. The only thing blocking them from getting to the next level is here. The only thing that's blocking them from getting the next level is what's going on in here. So that's why the mission is about changing the hearts and the minds of the people. If we change the hearts and the minds, if we change the hearts and the minds of the people together, what starts to happen is we start to create a world of positive consciousness where people treat other people well, people treat natural resources well with respect, the animals, everything live, every entity, even the plants, the trees, they're live, right? So to understand the law of attraction, you really got to understand energy. That, I mean, that's really what it's really about at the end of the day. Once you understand energy, you're really going to understand the law of attraction. And I'll do more videos talking about energy and all of that stuff. But yeah, so I just want to bring up that story. Also, there's been plenty of times, uh, even with my business, right? Even in online business, I've used the law of attraction. I remember when I talk about my first few sales that I ever got making money online, I talk about this story a lot. I talk about the first two to three months where I was struggling, right? But I've listened. I had a mentor and I listened to my mentor. My mentor told me what to do every single day. And I would just wake up in the morning and I would just take action every single day with, while getting zero sales. I wasn't making no money, nobody. I was getting no customers, but I kept taking action. 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 Because I said, my mindset was, I'm going to keep going until. You say, until what? I said, I'm going to keep going until I get a result, period. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. I was going to keep going until I get a result. So I kept going. I kept trusting the process. Damn near, basically three months later, 
went from zero sales, made no money, three months later, in one week, I get eight sales in one week. It puts me at the top, I, well, not the top top, but like top, like the top uh, 50 of the company leaderboards when it comes to pr productivity and sales in a certain amount of time. I was one of the top guys in that, right? And then we went off to make a lot of money online after that experience because that experience helped me to break through because that those were the beginning stages of me understanding of, law of the law of attraction. Even with that success, I still didn't really, really, really get it. I still really, really didn't understand it. But now every single day more and more is just showing up in my life. I'm understanding the law of attraction more and more. Sometimes like you can even visualize money coming into your bank account. You can visualize money coming into your PayPal. You can visualize how whatever you want to receive, you can visualize it. You can see it happening for you. But you don't see the problem is people will visualize something, but they worry so much about the how. Why are you worried about the how? Forget about the how. All that matters is why. Why do you want that thing that you want? Why do you want that success that you want? Why do you want that lifestyle that you want? That's the only thing that matters. See, when you when you worry too much about the how, you interrupting the universe's job. The universe is supposed to be worried about that. You're not supposed to be worried about what's possible and not possible. That's the universe's job. You just need to understand why and you got to have that thought in your mind, that visualization mixed in with that positive emotion that I be talking about. You have that mixture going on constantly and you let the universe figure it out. The things will align. The stars that they, you know, they like to say the stars are going to align. The stars will align. You just got to, you got to have unwavering faith. You got to trust the process at every single moment of the game with the wins, with the losses. You got to keep your, you got to keep your poker face on. That's what the law of attraction is about. Keeping your poker face on. That means whether the day is a good day, bad day, sunny day, rainy day, snowy day. What you want is in your mind. You're only focused on what you want. Got a sale today, didn't get a sale today. Only focus on what I want. That person joined my team today. They didn't join my team. I'm only focused on what I want. That person bought a product today. This person didn't buy a product today. I'm only focused on what I want. Dag, I didn't make sales in the last three days. I'm still only focused on what I want. I didn't get to a million subscribers on YouTube yet. I'm still focused on what I want. You get what I'm saying? So you keep that mindset and you keep it unwavering. The, the days could go like this, but your mindset and your vision and what you want is constant. Your destination in mind is constant. And then you fully locked into your definite purpose once you've mastered that. So let me know. Try it out. Let me know. Start thinking of what you do want. Eliminate the thoughts that you don't want. Eliminate it. Choose a different thought. If a thought is coming in your mind that's not making you feel good, that's making you feel negative, literally check it, throw it out, replace it with a positive thought. And then watch how things start to manifest in your life. Or think about somebody that you want to see. Let's see if they show up, right? Or think about certain money you want to make. Let's see if it shows up. Let me know. Let me know. It's John Belch. I'm going to see you later. Peace. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.